I think for me, as an amateur photographer, one of the greatest luxuries that there is, is to be able to take an entire week off just to take photos. That's what I've been doing this week. I've got the entire week off to dedicate just to photography. On Monday, I was at Angletarn doing a shoot, and yesterday, I was at Elterwater, and today, Wednesday, I'm here at Rydal Water. I think it's fair to say that so far this week we haven't had any light. The shoot at Angle Time was particularly challenging because it kept raining on and off. But this morning we've got some misty conditions and that's making for some really atmospheric photos. Today I'm starting at the boathouse on Rydal Water. I'm here to get a shot for my location guide to the Central Lake District. And I'm taking a panorama which I will crop down later using a technique that I shared in last week's video. So I think that shot has huge potential. So I'm gonna now pack up my gear and move on from this location. I think I've only been here for about 20 minutes, but I'm gonna go and see if I can find something else that really takes advantage of these fantastic conditions. I've walked along the shore a little bit and I've come to a beach that I last visited with some of my mates, James Burns, Simon Byrne and Tom Peters. And incidentally, Tom and I are running another free workshop down in Cornwall later in the year. So I'll leave a link to his website where you can register if you're interested in that. As you can see, it's still really misty here. You can't even make out the outline of Nabscar behind me. So I'm just gonna carry on, see if I can find something else. It's the middle of March at the moment and that means that the geese are still here, they haven't buggered off to wherever they go to in the summer and they really are noisy little sods. I appear to have stumbled into some misty woodland. Now I really struggle in woodland just because of this chaos, I find it very difficult to find a composition. And I think what you need is David Dixon. So this is what I've been looking for. It's a rock that sits in Rydal water with a tree sticking out of it. And I think the success with this shot, although I've never actually taken it before, is trying to find a simple background so that the tree really stands out. It did take me a little time to find a composition that I liked, but I think I've got an absolute cracker. Settings wise, I'm at F16, and I've got the Lee Little Stopper on, and the Polarizer cranked to the max. And that's giving me an exposure time of 25 seconds. That was 
sounds pretty good to me. So what did you think of that last shot? Not bad, eh? I've just wandered a little bit further along the lake now. I'm getting almost back to where I parked the car and I stumbled on this scene. And if anything, this is even better. I think this is a sunrise location because the sun should rise directly behind that little white house and that create a lovely colourful sky given the right conditions. Anyway, I'm going to walk back on myself a little bit because I spotted another composition a bit further back. Now that I'm here, I'm not actually sure this shot's going to work. I did want to shoot this island here. And um, when I came past earlier, there was some mist in the background. And that created some separation between the subject and its background. But now that mist has gone, you kind of lose the island in the hills behind it. Anyway, today that is not enough to dampen my spirits. I have had a fantastic day. Normally when I shoot these videos, I like to have some sort of theme or at least a title for the video. But all I can think of for this week is landscape photography. It is brilliant. <laughs>